Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi and if you should get it for your new shiny gaming PC. Well, the simple answer anybody will tell you is no, you should always go with internet. There are a few exceptions, and I want to make a point of those talking about those today. Because while Ethernet is by far the best option you will get anywhere, sometimes it's not physically possible. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a background story about this system back here and the Ethernet cable that runs about 50 meters down to the router downstairs. So I'm going to give you a little story about that. And we're going to talk about those few exceptions that it does matter. And then of course a couple other points I want to talk make points I want to talk about. We'll just call it that. So this system back here, I've had the same general components, CPU, GPU, hard drives, power supply, kind of those things for the last year. And they've been doing actually surprisingly well for video editing. Um, the biggest concern though has just been using the Wi-Fi to go all the way downstairs and hit the router and come back. Going through like countless walls, um, all that kind of stuff. And you know, I'm not allowed to go through and drill holes in the wall and that's actually a lot of work. Um, it would actually take a whole lot of work going underneath the house and stuff. So it really wouldn't necessarily be a good idea. So that raises the question, well, you know, how are you going to get Ethernet up here? And I guess what I did is I took a single cable and I ran it throughout the whole house. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of other different ways you could have done that. You could have drilled into the wall. But as I said, that wasn't really something that was possible. So I did, at the time that I was getting the system, um, I actually got the Tiachi X370 motherboard for Ryzen, which actually when I was looking for it, I got it because of the Wi-Fi capabilities, which I no longer use, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but the Ethernet cable I ran up here, and I got like a Cat5 or a Cat6 that I have up here now. And that's basically what I use for all my uploads and downloads it works really, really nice. Um, actually, for me, it made such a big difference. It cut my upload times from around, like, four hours to uploading a 4K video down to around two, which is actually a really good time saver. And so this system, I no longer have to use the Wi-Fi, which is kind of a disappointment, but the motherboard is a really nice overclocking motherboard, so it kind of makes up for it. Actually, the best, I think. So that's the system that I have back here, and that's kind of the story behind it. But recently I've actually been building a couple of computers for a couple of people. Um, I actually have a free computer building project that I've started. Um, so this, these are people I've done this for. And um, basically one of them, Caden, he wanted a gaming PC that he could take to the beach. He could move around, have a little bit of a ability to take it anywhere, but also have that ability to move it anywhere in the house with Wi-Fi. And that's one of those few exceptions I'd say. If you're going somewhere, if you're traveling with it, and you really don't know if you're going to have a consistent access to an Ethernet port, that really is something that you should take into account. Now, obviously, if you're just building a desktop for home PC use, you should first off, before you're deciding, you should really figure out if the Ethernet is an option. Um, this house is actually an older house, so there is no Ethernet ports anywhere in the house, which would have been a great idea, but they didn't come up with that. Um, and so some houses will actually have that, and you're luck out, and you just have an Ethernet port in your room. Other people will just have to take a wire throughout the whole house, but... Then there's a couple other situations like hotels or something where you really don't have access to a Ethernet port at all. Um, you may, but you probably won't, especially in airports you won't have anything. I mean, if you're going to play video games in the airport, let's be honest, you don't want to miss your plane. Um, but then there's some other things like apartments. Some apartments have Wi-Fi that they offer for everybody in the apartment complex, and then those you actually have to just connect to the Wi-Fi and you don't have an Ethernet option. As is some apartments. It really just depends on what you're looking for in you. But if if you're one of those people that's just going to have an Ethernet port, use this at home, and never really take this anywhere, and even if you do take it somewhere, you're going to somewhere that probably has an Ethernet connection, or you could really push it, then yeah, I'd say go for it. Um, and you really don't need, need an Ethernet card. Now, or Wi-Fi card, sorry, my bad. And obviously, an Ethernet connection is going to be the best, and you really can't argue that. Um, Wi-Fi cards cost anywhere from, I guess... What is it? Twenty bucks, thirty bucks to around like a hundred if you really want a nice one. And from my personal opinion and experience, the difference between a thirty dollar Ethernet card and the one hundred and twenty ASUS super fancy Wi-Fi card is nothing. Really nothing. An Ethernet connection is an Ethernet connection, and by far will be any of those. But if you really need a Wi-Fi connection, thirty bucks is that ability to take it anywhere it can connect to the Wi-Fi. So Ethernet connection will by far be anything. But a Wi-Fi card is something, if you're considering having them bringing the PC, which this PC is so big, so thick, and so girthful that it will never move, I am fine leaving the Wi-Fi. I probably should not have gotten Wi-Fi in there, and that's my honest. But I mean, it was the nice motherboard, but if I just had an additional Wi-Fi card, I would not have gotten one. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Also, tell me what you thought down in the comments. 
and maybe check out some of those other PC builds I did. Maybe that free one that I did for Caden, I think that would be a great one you should look up. There's actually a live stream archive of it. Um, that was where I, you know, had to choose a Wi-Fi card because that was part of the request. Uh, actually, people got really upset at, like, I'm like, there's nothing you can do if you have that situation. You really need a Wi-Fi card. And uh, obviously, you know, some of the really, you know, intense gamers will be like, oh, yeah, you need to have a Wi-Fi card because it's going to be the end of the world if you don't. And, yeah, there is a good truth behind that. It's also not really the end of the world either. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's give it a thumbs up. And um, goodbye.